Welcome back. The Cradle of Humankind is hosting the first display of the new Homo naledi fossils. The exhibition is the largest collection of ancient fossil hominins ever displayed publicly. Our reporter Zikona Chona is at the Cradle of Humankind. Zikona? Good, uh, good morning, Shahan, and you are correct. We are at the largest display of ancient human re fossil relatives in the world here at the Amarabeng um, Cradle of Humankind where people will be able to see the fossil that will be launched here today. We do know that in 2015 was the announcement of the discovery of Homo naledi and I do have with me Professor Lee Berger who will give us a con context as to exactly what is the significance of this display because it is only here in South Africa where people can witness what we'll be witnessing here today. Professor, thank you so much for joining us and I'm just going to begin by asking you to explain what is behind us. I understand this is also a part of what people can learn from when they visit um, the exhibition. That's right. Well, behind me is a 3D reconstruction construction of the actual laboratory where scientists gathered from all over the world, more than 60 scientists, to actually study and examine the remains of Homo naledi. It was in this laboratory where we came to the decision that we had a brand new species of ancient human relative. Now this whole uh, journey and whole exhibit is really a historic moment for South Africa because you can, as you said, see don't, for the first time in history all of the Homo naledi fossils, the real ones, right here. And what, can, what else can people expect to see? We do understand that the discovery of Homo naledi was described as, as a remarkable part of science. What can people expect to see beyond that? What can you learn? I understand that um, Dinewo is also here, and um, naledi rather is also here. What, what, what else can people see? Well, this exhibit takes you through the entire journey. The original discovery, how the cavers first within, went in. You can actually experience that journey. You can see us actually when we excavate it. There's video underground. The real thing is here. You can actually try your hand at squeezing through the 18 centimeter gap and see if you can fit where our scientists went. You can see the science that went behind it. And of course, you see the original fossils themselves, including Neo, the most complete skeleton of Homo naledi ever discovered. Professor, if you can just describe to us what goes into, into these discoveries, what do you have to do as a scientist to reach such remarkable um, significance in your, in your work? You have to uh, surround yourself with remarkable people. Um, this scientific project involves over 150 scientists from around the world. It's one of the biggest scientific undertakings on the planet. And all of that comes together in this exhibit. You get to see the results of all that work and the real things. Thank you very much for your time, Professor. Now, Shahan, the exhibition will be open to the public as of today, and they can come in and walk through through these doors and learn as, as much as I will be from today about science and the fossils that are around us and take in what the scientists have been working on for years and years. All dressed up for Africa Day, our reporter Zikona Chona.